Hi, this is Christine. It is September 13, 2014. It is in the evening, and I want to share something else that came to me earlier today. Um, pretend there is a like one-year-old little boy, and he his dad shows him a mirror. Or maybe the little boy looks into a glass door that has a reflection, or he looks into a phone, like one of those iPhones, and there's a reflection in the glass. And he sees himself, but it's not really him. It's it's kind of like a distorted version of him. You know how um, sometimes you can look into a mirror and it makes you look fatter than you really are? Um, or when you look at yourself in a well, we already we've already talked about those hall hall of mirrors things, but pretend the dad he shows the little boy a mirror, and he says, "Who is that? Who's in that mirror?" And the little boy doesn't know who it is. He doesn't realize that a mirror actually just shows you what you look like because um, without a mirror you you don't know what you look like. You wouldn't know what you look like, you know. You wouldn't know your hair color unless you pulled some of your hair out of your head or if it was long enough where you could actually look at it. You don't know what your face looks like unless you can look into a mirror. Um, you don't know what color eyes you have unless somebody tells you from the outside. Somebody from the outside tells you. If you don't have a mirror, you don't know what you look like. And if you look at yourself in a mirror that is warped or distorted, you're also not going to get an accurate look at yourself. Um, people back like, I don't know how, mirrors have been around for a while, you know, centuries, but pretend you're like in the 17, 1800s and you're the Wild West, you know, you're one of those wagon train people and you're going out to settle the West. And there's nothing but just open land out there. You might look into a lake to get when you go to bend over to get some water to fill up your water bottle. And it's a mirrored lake. So you look and you see yourself in the mirrored lake. Um, if you don't know what you really look like. It's going to cause you problems if you don't know what you really look like. Um, it's like what I was talking about with not loving yourself it's if your spirit self sees your physical body in a distorted view and that's not the real you and if your physical body sees your spiritual body as distorted that's not the real you either. You don't want to look at yourself through distorted mirrors, through mirrored lakes, or the glass on your iPhone, or the glass door on a patio, or even mirrors in clothing stores that 
make you look 10 pounds fatter than you are. You don't want to look at yourself spiritually or physically through a distorted mirror because that's not love. That's not loving yourself. Your spirit man, when he's distorted, he's going to look at your physical body and he's going to say, you're fat, you're ugly, I don't like you, I don't like your hair color, whatever. He's just going to nitpick and criticize and he's going to find fault with your physical body if your spiritual man is seeing your physical body through a distorted mirror. And if your physical body is seeing your spiritual self as distorted, like through a distorted mirror, he's going to look at the spiritual self and say, you know, you're a mean person. I don't like you. And you're not worthy of such and such. You know, it, the physical man, he's going to say not nice things to your spiritual man. It's going to break your spirit and it's going to break you down. It's going to make you feel lousy. So, if it's at all possible, get rid of your distorted mirrors. Your eyes that are seeing your physical body through distorted lenses. Or your spirit man that is seeing your physical body through distorted lenses and see yourself as who you truly are that you're a child of the god of god a child of the lord and that he loves you and that you're worthy because he gave his life so that you might live he thought you were worth coming down here and dying for and if he thought you had worth and maybe you should think you have worth also. You know? So, I just want to ask you to take a look at, at the quote mirrors that you are looking at yourself through. Your physical body and your spiritual body the mirror that you're looking into where you are seeing yourself as not being worthy and then remove that mirror and put a true mirror in front of you and see yourself for who you really are and that you are actually a very beautiful person and that goes for men too I could say for men that I you know, I could say that you are a handsome person. But beauty is skin deep. It's more than skin deep. So, you're a beautiful person, whether you're male or female. And I just want to ask everybody to take a look at the mirror that you are looking into when you see yourself. And you look at yourself and say, ooh, I don't like that person. I don't like that spiritual person inside of me. I don't think she's got any worth to her. Or I don't like that physical person I'm seeing in the mirror. You know, maybe you don't like your thighs or your butt or you don't like your arms or whatever it is that you're criticizing yourself about. It's a distorted mirror, guys, that you're looking into. That's why you're criticizing yourself. That's why you're not liking yourself or accepting yourself. So I want to ask you to remove the distorted mirrors from your spiritual and your physical life. Remove the lenses and see yourself for the beautiful person that you are and that God intended you to be. And then go be that person live up to your potential live up to everything that the lord has in store for you okay 
That's what came to me this morning. And I hope it's going to help somebody else too. Have a wonderful day, guys, and um, be blessed. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye.